Welcome to the online platform of Dimension TV. We make innovative online television that inspires you. My name is Valentina Berning and I'm here with Iftah Zagif, the founder of the Essence Training. I'm very pleased that he is here. Very welcome. Thank you. For you. Thank you very much. Yeah. I'm already excited because you are inspiring and we are inspiring. Great. So let's see how we can do it together. Yes, great. Good to hear. So could you tell me what is the Essence Training? Essence Training is simply an organization mm -hmm. that is creating a safe platform for people mm -hmm. to explore their potential and to make the most of their life mm -hmm. based on inspiration. Hey, there it is again. <laughs> because there is a vision. Mm -hmm. We are creating human society mm -hmm. through love, partnership and inspiration. Love, partnership and inspiration. Exactly the point. Okay. That's what we do. Great. We are doing it in unique processes. Mm -hmm. Most of them I created, not all of them. Mm -hmm. I'm not taking credit which does not belong to me. And the whole point is to do it through experiential learning. So it's joyful. Yeah. Many times it's fun. Mm -hmm. And above all, I've never met in my life somebody who learned how to swim uh -huh. by reading a book yeah. or by getting a lecture. Yeah. We are giving the swimming lesson yeah. in what is called life. Okay. That's what we yeah. do. So it's practical. Yeah. Very practical. Okay. And how did you get the idea of constructing these trainings? Shall I be honest? Yes, of course. <laughs> I'm extremely intuitive. Mm -hmm. Many of the things is my life experience or experience that I saw through other people. Mm -hmm. And then I have this quality of the ability to design. Mm -hmm. And first of all, I try it on myself. Mm -hmm. Then I find it that it works for me, but that is not enough. Because it could be working for me, but not for others. And yeah. then I give it a try on other people. Mm -hmm. And when the feedbacks are extremely good, then I'm creating a training. So the foundation is a training based on the combination of these qualities, mm -hmm. intuition, Life experience, mm -hmm. that makes a, a clear mm -hmm. demand. Based on this, I started like this when I was already quite young or younger, mm -hmm. much younger. I found myself in the uh, uh, Yom Kippur War in Israel, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. where the normal methodologies of the Israeli army did not work. Yeah. And then I had to handle it, so I had to be creative. Mm -hmm. I was creative. Most of my soldiers came out of the specific battles that they fought mm -hmm. much better than many other units, then I found out that they can do it. And since then I'm doing it. What kind of results do people get out of the, the trainings? The results that people are getting out of the training are in various areas. Mm -hmm. First of all, they dare much more with themselves. Mm -hmm. Their ability to be loyal to themselves, to be confident, to come out of that need of what can I do and that's life and the Dumar Chavon and Dumar Nomal and all these stories. In the beginning of the training, they are standing there. They, so much, they, be, they really are honest, but they believe, what can I do? That's life. Mm -hmm. And at the end of the training, what they're saying is, I'm so much clearer. I know what I'm going to do. And they're creating amazing, outstanding results of courage, of improving relationship, of going for much, much further in their life, personal, professional, relationship, parenthood. Mm. They're improving a great deal of lots of things. Yeah. And one thing I can tell you, I'm not doing it to them. Mm -hmm. It's not that we have the Harry Potter wand and they are changed. <laughs> it's not. Yeah. We are providing for them a process where they can see, and it is step by step. You cannot do it in America. You cannot do it by magics. Mm -hmm. One thing I'm not doing, I'm not creating this kind of, somebody does it to you, and two seconds later, you're okay. No. 
they are getting the experiences and the supportive intellect, and mm -hmm. based on this, they are clear that they can do it, mm -hmm. they know how to do it, mm -hmm. and above all, they are safe that they can do it successfully. And I don't know any method that can get people to do this mm -hmm. unless it is experiential learning. So that's what we do. Yeah. Shall I show you an experience? Yes, of course. You sure? Yeah. Shall you do totally. it? Yeah. Okay, Challenge let me ask you a question. Yeah. If I want you to assess now uh -huh. how many times you can jump on one leg in 15 seconds. How many times can you jump on one leg in 15 seconds? One leg? Yes. Just give me a number. Uh, now you're confusing me a little no, bit. No, I'm yeah, just yeah, yeah, you're worried, I'm you're worried, so, you're worried. I've interview you about this, so that's why I'm like, one leg or two legs? <laughs> well, one two leg. Two feet or one feet? <laughs> one foot. One foot. Yeah. Okay, one foot is... Um, 15 seconds. How many times? Uh, 15 seconds. One foot. Uh, yeah, I got it. Okay. Um, I think it's like uh, maybe 80. 80? Yeah. Shall we try? Yeah. Get ready, wait a second. Yeah. Go. Are you counting? <laughs> no, I forgot <laughs> it. Oh, this is really hard to count. <laughs> I think this is about 100. <laughs> you crossed 120 enough. You did more, yeah. many more than yeah. 40 per every five seconds. Okay. And you know the game. Yeah. Because you saw it. Yeah, I saw you it. You saw it. So, yeah, <laughs> challenge me with another game. <laughs> now, what happens normally is we yeah. say to people how many times? And mm -hmm. they say 15 seconds, uh, 20. Yeah. And then we ask them to jump. Yeah. And, then and what they, they do, they, ju they do on yeah. one leg. Yeah. And then they find out that on one leg in 15 seconds, they mostly jump about 60 to 70 times. Mm -hmm. This. Instead of 20. Instead of the 20, when they assessed yeah. it, they thought they are really good. Yeah. Then I asked them, what do you learn from this? And they said, um, 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 and I said, okay, did you assess yourself properly? He said, no. So could it be that you're doing the same in your life? Could it be that your potential and talent is at least four times more than you believe? Mm -hmm. Because when you believe that you're going to make 20, yeah. on 18, you start to say, <sighs> And yeah. 19, you say, hey, 20, you say, I reached it. Yeah. But fr frankly, when you don't know, then you suddenly find out that inside, in our abilities, in our mind, in our talent, in our qualities, we can do so much better. Yeah. But we don't even aim there. Mm -hmm. Then I'm asking a different question, which you did because you know you've seen it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I asked them, why did you jump on one specific leg? Yeah. And they said, what do you mean? The instruction was on one leg. I said, yes, but it didn't tell you to jump on the same leg. Mm -hmm. I said, oh, and then they find out that not that they can function 400% better, mm -hmm. they can function 1000% better than before. Yeah. Even you, when you knew <laughs> that you're going to do faster, you under assessed yourself? Yeah. Hello, I did. 80? I, I did. 80? About the exercise, I'm really curious about how did you create these exercises? I don't have the slightest clue. I just created. Tell me, how how did it did it? Come I heard to that you are an actress. Yeah. Are you sure? Are you a normal actress or are you a real actress? I'm. I'm. Yeah. I'm a real actress. So you are obviously in the right moment creative. Uh huh. So if you have the person who is commanding the stage, yeah, and he tells you, Valentina, do this, mm -hmm. do this, do this. So this, mm -hmm. will you do it this way or will you be much more creative in what he's offering you? The last answer. But, but then you cannot explain how creativity is formed. Mm -hmm. So when I see something, I create. Mm -hmm. And in that, I'm trained to be creative in such a way that it's built for getting people to cross those boundaries. Yeah. But I cannot answer you how I am creative. Yeah. I'm the ultimate trainee. Uh -huh. I'm a trainee. I'm yeah. not a trainer. I'm uh -huh. carrying the title of a trainer. Yeah. But many times the person who is my partner for this, mm -hmm. the trainee, yeah. is standing and sharing. Mm -hmm. And in this, with my qualities or my abilities and my experience, mm -hmm. I see something that if I'll do something small yeah. for him, yeah. he will get it. Mm -hmm. And then I create. 
I'm not uh, practicing, I, need to, I must be creative, I must be creative. If I'm not creative, something is wrong. I'm yeah. not in there. Yeah. So I'm creating processes and I have this ability uh -huh. to create processes. I want to know that when I die, there, is, there are rumors that one, one, one day it will happen. Mm -hmm. I don't want the whole organization and the method and the inspiration and creating a human society mm -hmm. to depend on one person, yeah. one man show, if Taksegiv is going to doing the show, and all the rest are just suffering. Yeah. No, yeah. it's not my thing. Yeah. My idea is that the vision and the delivery will mm -hmm. be available for people after me. Yeah. And therefore, I train trainers. Yeah. So when I create a method, it has to fit that other people will be able to do the same. Yeah. And it cannot be. It, you cannot have a real trainer mm -hmm if it's just a quoting machine of Iftah Zagib. Yeah. Then it's not authentic. No. What does workability mean for you? Workability is the ability to identify the reality, mm -hmm. to identify the gap yeah. of how you want it to be, mm -hmm. and to be able to shift it from where it is to where you want it to be. Okay. In a practical and simple, joyful way. Yeah. Not always fun, but definitely joyful, meaning your lover came to, move to you and said to you, Valentina, you're so beautiful, bye. <laughs> yeah. You know, it happens. Yeah, of course. You have two options. Yeah. Option two, why do you do this to me? Suffering. Uh, Suffering. I invested so many years. Being a victim. I'm your, <laughs> yes, you made me suffer. <laughs> and what about all those years and the children and the money and the... Yeah and then you are surviving life. Yeah. There is another option, that you will look at it from a different perspective, mm -hmm. without any guru standing and shouting to you, you have to be different, mm -hmm. because you're equipped to yeah. do so. You identify what is it that you can do and still be loyal to yourself. Mm -hmm. Then you get simple tools mm -hmm. where you focus yourself differently, and then you recruit your inner powers to support you to be far better than before. Yeah. Without being, once upon a time, I had a lover and it was so painful, I will never do it again. And then you do it again. Yeah, yeah. So you're in stories all the time, you're in past, exactly. instead of exactly. being right here, right now. Exactly. Create possibilities for the future. Create opportunities for yeah. you to function different, yeah. being completely connected to your inner power. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. This one you cannot do without experiential learning. It's mm -hmm. impossible. Out of that process, mm -hmm. heal the life. I know people who had been participating in a terror attack. Wow. Three quarters of the family died, three quarters. The husband and two kids, one 21 and one 18, yeah. in a restaurant. And everybody was sure that the, the lady will commit suicide because of such a horrible situation. Yeah. And I was there at, at the funeral. Mm. And I asked her, how are you? Yeah. And she said, Everybody thinks that I'm going to die. I'm not. I'm mm -hmm. committed to make my life working. Yeah. And I said to her, how do you do this? And she said to me, you should know. You should know. You know. Yeah. Because a specific moment in the program, now Arva, her father was murdered. Mm -hmm. She's now a trainer of essence. Yeah. She responded to the murder in a way that you can't imagine. What did she do? All the family were crashed. Her yeah. father uh, was murdered in Israel. She yeah. was... We were living here. Yeah. We got a phone call. Yeah. The way she functioned in that event, mm -hmm. along the hours and the days, was mm -hmm. completely focused, loyal to herself. She was in pain, yeah. but she didn't make her pain a religion to fall into and to be a victim of her pain. Yeah. So she took the pain with her, but mm -hmm. she was very powerful in her reaction. Mm -hmm. For the rest of the family, it took about two years to get out of it. Mm -hmm. For Arva, it took about two days to get out of it. Wow. Two days. She was completely so powerful. It was amazing. The inner power comes, yeah. which is not the act of the actress. Yeah, I got it. So yeah. it's, it's like Valentina yeah. who is acting and not the actress Valentina. I got it. Like Big deal. real self-expression, right? Exactly. Your authentic self-expression. and that You say it better play, than I do. Playing a game. Exactly. Because that's what actors sometimes do. But you see it. When it's not real, you see it. I believe like a good actor, it really has to come from inside. You stand in my room and you talk, <laughs> because you're doing it better than I do. <laughs> See? People are functioning with their brain in area which is like this. Mm -hmm. 
they only use this. Which is yeah. roughly 10% yeah. of the volume of the brain. Yeah. Yeah. Because they are trained to be formal. Now, formal does not mean military. Mm -hmm. It goes by, you have to do this, and you have to do this. If you don't do this, then this. They are trained into what you're calling rational logics. Yeah which will later in their life will create some kind of damages on the brain. Mm -hmm. He said, there is only one way to stop it. And when you stop it, the functionality of the brain mm -hmm. will be 10 times bigger. Now, he measured. And he has this uh, um, MRI mm -hmm. screen, yeah. which he shows this. Yeah. And he said, in order for the person to use 1,000% better, mm -hmm. which will heal them even better, mm -hmm. You need to get them outside of the comfort zone and to be creative Yay! and to be outside of these formalities. Yeah. And then he said a beautiful sentence. He said, it's absolutely impossible to do it unless you do it by experiential learning. Mm. Now we are landing in what we are doing, yeah. which you are doing too. Mm -hmm. Because in your program, you are inspiring people to say, hey, <laughs> life can be more. Yes, of course. Let's do it. Yeah, let's go for it. Yeah, the impossible is possible. I always you know believed in that. I always believed in that. We ran, we ran a program here. The impossible. Yeah, you just told me. The impossible is only in your mind. Yeah. So? Yeah. It's, everything is possible. It's about creating another context, right? Absolutely. Yeah. It's yeah. true. It's yeah. beautiful that to say yeah. It's yeah. great <laughs> to speak to you because yeah. we're speaking almost the same language. Yeah, yeah. It's exactly the context of yeah. life. Yeah, I know. Yeah. And if we shift the context, I, I told you. We, we started the mission possible. Mm. Listen, I have tears in my eyes when I hear this lady mm. on the edge of unemployment at the age of 50. Mm. She's now committed to create a complete support infrastructure mm -hmm. in Suriname mm -hmm. to handle cancer. Yeah. Plus, she's going to create a structure in one of the cities in the Netherlands, I don't want to mention the name, but mm -hmm. one of the cities, for people above the age of 50, mm -hmm. to support them to become confident, powerful, and to be back into the employment world, yeah. where most of them think that they don't have a chance anymore. Mm -hmm. That it's done, yeah. yeah. You know, I hear this, we support that, we are giving the program how to do this, but also coaching in how to do it. Listen, what else is left except for pride and tears mm -hmm. on my eyes? Mm -hmm. But the tears are not of pain, the tears are of the great service that we're offering. Yeah. Or, um, you're grateful, you're uh, so touched. It's yeah, exactly, yeah. I'm absolutely touched and moved. Spirituality is the ability to be connected to your intuition, mm -hmm. much beyond the need of logics. Mm -hmm. And based on this, to express the spirit in you in a dimension that is not necessarily logical. Yeah. But then it is a spirit in action. Mm -hmm. and not logics in action. Yeah. Now, spiritualism is much beyond feelings. Mm -hmm. Because if you believe your feelings, you are into your logics. Mm -hmm. Is it clear for you? Should mm -hmm. I explain? No, I got it, yeah. Because feelings are logical. Yeah. And most people don't believe this. Mm -hmm. But I can show them that the, their feelings are based on conditions. If this, I like you. If this, I don't like you. If this, I love you. Meaning it's if, then, if, then. Mm -hmm. In order to touch on your intuition, you need to be willing to be outside of that for a moment. Now, mm -hmm. it's impossible not to feel, because when you don't feel, you feel that you don't feel. <laughs> this is ridiculous. Yeah. The point is to go into the intuition side and then your spirit will come up. Like the Dalai Lama was interviewed once, and he was in his special uniform, mm -hmm. the robe, which is beautiful. And in the interview, suddenly, his watch came out. And yeah. on his hand, on his wrist, there was a Rolex watch. <laughs> yeah. And the interviewer said, wow, the Dalai Lama with a Rolex watch. <laughs> How is that possible? <laughs> exactly. <laughs> Spirituality with Rolex? Yes. Yeah, so so you know what he answered? Yeah. He answered him, you know, even I need to know the time sometimes. <laughs> you want to talk to me about my belief? And you want to talk about my Rolex watch? Are you sure? But he couldn't say this, so he's polite enough. Yeah. Because, for example, Dalai Lama is influential in the real world. Yeah. He does not contradict spiritualism. Yeah. So, so spirituality is the ability to express your spirit mm -hmm. and later transform it into practicality. Yeah. First of all, where do we give? Because intuition, you need to be confident enough mm -hmm. to let go of the logics. Yeah. It, uh, it appears a little bit in the essence. Mm -hmm. 
just, but it's not directed there. In the source, it appears by definition. Mm -hmm. In the third and the fourth day, where people are going into complete commitment to their inner power mm -hmm. in a specific process, which is amazing, but I cannot describe. And then there is a program which is called Beyond Doubt. Mm -hmm. Beyond Doubt is directed into intuition. And frankly, we are born intuitive. Mm -hmm. So it's not that I need to recreate the intuition. Mm -hmm. I need to remove the knot. I need to remove mm -hmm. the, the block or the gate that closed intuition. Yeah. And then intuition will come by itself. Yeah. Their voice is changing. Mm -hmm. The way they breathe is changing. Mm -hmm. the, whole, the way they hold his body is changing. And I didn't touch. Mm -hmm. It's there, do the process. Yeah. But it's step on yeah. step. And when you let go of it, then you sense authentic freedom. Mm -hmm. yeah. Then it's freedom. That's beautiful. Yeah. Some stuff of it will vanish, mm -hmm. meaning the reality will come back. Mm -hmm. But some of the experiences will stay for life. Mm -hmm. At a certain moment, you will not even notice that you are using it. Yeah. So the source, for example, some moment there will stay for a very long time. Yeah. The beyond doubt yeah. stays forever. Yeah. That's transformation, right? Exactly. Yeah. Meaning it. yeah. it's a different level altogether yeah. in which the inner, um, the being actually, mm -hmm. yeah. is becoming free. Mm -hmm from the barriers that yeah. we have built in our life. Yeah. What is your vision for the world? My vision for the world is that mankind will create authentic freedom for the future generation. Mm -hmm. Because at this moment, especially the youngsters, mm -hmm. instead of growing into freedom, mm -hmm. they are growing into fake freedom. They have to justify. Mm -hmm. They are standing there with all this culture around, worldwide, by the way, mm -hmm. that is limiting their talent, their creativity. And because of this, the violence is growing. The using of drugs is growing. The use of alcohol is, is growing. The, the, the uh, aggression, verbal aggression, physical aggression is growing. And mm -hmm. if we shall just do a little bit of the opposite, mm -hmm and create that sense of choice and responsibility, mm -hmm. and we'll get these kids and through the parents and the adults to understand that it's easy to do, mm -hmm. the human society will be a society of humanness, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. where choice is leading people yeah. and not just being reactive to the circumstances. Yeah. And when you are choosing, you don't need to be violent. Mm -hmm. Then you will be cooperative. Mm -hmm. Then you'll be partner. This is my vision for the world, okay. to create a society of humanists that will focus on creating the next generation mm -hmm. based on partnership, based on love, yeah. practical love, not uh, pretending that I need you, and above all, inspiration. Inspiration by self example And that's what I do. That's... Yeah, that's what and with this, to. exactly. Yeah. And this is what I want to leave behind. If I succeed to do it, great. There is so much more in us. Mm -hmm. And we deserve to have so much better quality of life, which does not mean we need to work harder. Mm -hmm. It does not mean that suddenly the reality will be pink. It means that we can do so far better if we just handle ourselves in a different sequence, mm -hmm. through inspiration. Mm -hmm. And inspiration cannot exist if it's not by self-example. Mm -hmm. Let's do it. If we do it, the future generation will have complete better quality of life. Yeah. And that will be great. Yeah. So stand up, take your responsibility, and make a decision and go for it. Exactly. Yeah. Exactly. Make this. a difference in life. Exactly yeah. this. Okay. Exactly this. Yeah, I got it. Thank you very much. Thank you. <laughs> great. Yay! Inspiration. Yay! <laughs> Dimension TV. And daarmee um, ja, zorg ik ervoor dat het niet een vlucht is naar het licht. Maar dat het een, een ook soms een weg is naar de schaduw, waardoor je het volle werkelijke licht ook kan ervaren.